In the world of MMOs, everyone is trying to grab a little piece of the World of Warcraft pie. And while most efforts come up very short and offer little freshness or changes to the gameplay, the new MMO Rusty Hearts, developed by Stairway Games and published by Perfect World, does bring some much needed freshness to the genre ruled over by the almighty, all-powerful Blizzard Entertainment. Rusty Hearts is a cell-shaded, anime-style hack-and-slash MMO. The gameplay at its core is pure hack-and-slash. You work your way through various instance dungeons, hacking and slashing your way through waves and waves of undead skeletons, mutant fish, and the like. All the while, trying to make your way towards the eventual boss at the end and or some objective that you have been sent to pursue. And this brings us to the questing. The questing and Rusty Hearts are split up into three categories. Story, normal, and random. But almost all the time you will be sent into a specific section of one of the dungeons to clear it on a specific difficulty, collect an item from within, or kill a certain number of enemies found inside. As for the story, as you progress through the dungeon sections as well as inside the towns, you will encounter various cutscenes laying out the plot as well as interweaving your story quests into the mix. Character creation in Rusty Hearts may be a bit of a letdown for your typical MMO fan. Currently, you can select from four classes at the start of the game, and there are two avatars for the first three classes and one for the final class, excluding avatars that must be purchased in the cash shop. Other than that, there are no options to customize the look of your character from the creation screen. However, once inside the game, there are a wealth of cosmetic and gearing options, though a lot of the costume items are sold in the cash shop which can be accessed in-game. The dungeons in this game are quite linear and can become a bit monotonous. They start you in a room where some enemies spawn, you fight it out, and when they are all dead you can pass through a gate to the next area and repeat until you find the dungeon's boss. I have the little air quotes around boss because I found most of the boss fights I encountered to be extremely easy and short. I'm sure this will be different at end game level, but even the lower level dungeons on very hard are a joke. Though technically 3D, the combat of Rusty Hearts plays very much like the old school side-scrolling brawlers that you may remember from your day spent at the bowling alley arcade with a handful of your dad's quarters. Or maybe that's just me. But this simplistic button smashing style does have some nostalgic appeal to it, I must say. As for controls, you have two options. A very awkward arrow key setup where your left hand activates skills and attacks, or as I have opted, you can connect a USB controller for a much easier feeling experience. Also, something that needs to be noted, the overall speed of movement while in combat seems very slow and at times takes away from the frantic button smashing combat. After jumping or dashing, my character would always pause for a split second, which can drastically affect the flow of combat. Rusty Hearts, being an MMO, has various options to allow you to connect with other players. There is an in-game auction house as well as chat and mail systems. You also can party up with friends or randoms to tackle dungeons together, though I must note this can cause a what would be easy dungeon clear to become a bit of a snooze fest. There is also PvP to be had if hacking away at AI becomes a bit too boring. There are five game modes in PvP. Solo Survival, Team Survival, Leader Match, Tag Team, and Death Match. All of these game modes tend to end up in a large cluster of button mashing in the middle of the map though. Rusty Hearts is a free to play game. It can be downloaded from Steam free of charge. However, as with most free-to-play games, there are a wealth of ways to open your wallet for good old perfect world. These are mostly vanity items, but you can also purchase things like experience boosts to assist in leveling. One of the most important questions with free-to-play games is, is it free to play but pay to win? The answer from what I can see so far is absolutely a no. There's no real advantage to be had from looking cooler or having some crazy pet following you around. To sum it up, Rusty Hearts for me is a fun way to relax and waste some time hacking and slashing my way through various dungeons while leveling nice and slow. This game has its issues as I have pointed out, but for someone looking for some fun hack and slash action without opening up their wallet should definitely give Rusty Hearts a go.